time for round two of the Arash AF8 Looper Pre. I finished second in round one. What was my time? At 113.6, but my best practice time was 114.1. I didn't I didn't have enough time to try. I got paranoid that if I said a better practice time, my actual time would get lower. And so I just did some real runs when I had a practice time of 114.1. And then I got 113.6, went to bed, and I haven't had time to do any more to see if I could have actually, what I could have done with that ghost of 113.6. But I still finished second, so it's fine. There's three keys. I'm in tier three. To the docks. It's quite scary doing a track that you have no idea. Like, I can't even remember what this track is. And you're committed to a route. It's a short track. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take it slow just so I can think about the... Take it very slow just so that I don't commit to a route that I don't want. Because I haven't thought enough. So where am I going? I'm going to let it hit the wall and keep the night on. I don't know whether... Oh, drift stopped working. I'm not holding the phone properly. It is the one with this long... Long straight. Long bendy bit. Long bendy straight. Right, let's do it again. That wasn't a run. I hope you know that was me getting my bearings. So we've got to drift 250 meters a few times. I'll do that after I've set the started setting times. Chill out. He's excited. There's a tree sparrow. I'm at war with the pigeon again. It was quite an upsetting morning today. Yesterday, like over the course of the last week, they've worked out how to wobble one of the feeders and make it drop food to the ground. And then I, I changed something about the connector on it, how the feeder connected to a... I'm going to go left there. How the feeder connected to a branch like I've got a fake branch coming off a wall that wobbles so that it's like a tree branch that has a feeder on it so the birds sit on that and it but when a pigeon comes he he can't normally get to the food but he's learnt to shake it and drop food to the ground and then he shook it so much he threw the feeder off and they had a feast yesterday because he'd thrown the feeder to the ground and so I fixed it all like redid the the way it connects to the branch so it won't break this time and then and then he, and then I was I came out this morning to check, is the feeder still there? And I was like, yes, it's still there, win. But that wasn't the win because then I look across and he's knocked over like three of my plants off my balcony onto the balcony floor, like completely thrown them off. He's broken branches off my African daisy bushes. And then and then I'm and then what else did he, and then and then I thought, oh, if that's not enough, then after I've got angry about those two things that he's destroyed to my plants and thrown them off the balcony, he's taken a crap on one of my cushions on my seat. <laughs> like, like a protest crap in the middle of a cushion. And I was like, he's done all of that because he can't get the feeder off the thing today. He's angry. Anyway, I'll go, go to the park for an hour and a half, come back. When I'm walking home, I see him sat on the only bush that I haven't put spikes in to stop him sitting in. And he's... He's just completely annihilated another plant. He's pro I, I should start that again. He's protesting. And so I've just had to cut back a plant because he broke all the branches and then all the all the leaves and flowers on the ends of those branches will wilt and die, so you might as well just sacrifice those branches. It's not Buster. 
It's some new pigeon. He's got different behavior. Buster would just come in my house all the time now. It's then start flying around, you know, breaking stuff, flying around inside the house. I liked that for that run I did with the shockwave then on the first one. Now I'm going to crash. Can I keep up with myself? I can't even remember the run I did then. It's not good enough, yeah, but... Yeah, catch up here, but I... I I don't know what I want the beginning to be. It's like there's something complex about this. It's about the... Because you want your ghost at the right point at the end to give you the run through at the end. So a faster time can be a poorer ghost. And it's just too much to think about. It's like, can't we just race it? Go, that's our time. Oh, epic. Right, let's try and focus on the race now, instead of the pigeon problems. He comes so early, he he knows when you're sleeping, so he'll come before you get up and do all his stuff. And because I've had to move bedrooms because of all the truck noise, I can't hear him messing with everything, so he's having a party every morning on the balcony. And he had been stealth before, because he, was, he wasn't... Oh, extra air time. <laughs> not, not what I wanted, though. I'm going to bounce off him. Just slowly grind these down and refine them. I want my shockwave on my first jump now. And now I haven't got the guy in front of me to give me a nice stream out of this stuff. Oh, we have. That's probably a worse ghost, but a faster time. It's <laughs> like. Because he was going all over the place and drifting, so I'm not leaving as good a stream. Why do we have to think so much? I think I'm out of fuel soon. I'll just finish the gas tank, and then I'll do another gas tank later. I'm not doing a real run anywhere near yet. That will happen tomorrow. Once I've done another couple of gas tanks, grinding this time, time down. Now the ghost is in a nice place, but oh, but then he's got no slip there. Oh, just no, just behind it. So just that very last bit. Otherwise, that would have been faster, because the ghost is half a second behind ahead. I'll do more runs later. If I if I get a particularly good time, I'll share it. I think we all know what we're doing now. Just grinding them down. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you. <laughs>